Okay, um, I've set up a little video here because I'm having some problems with my 85mm um, Samyang lens. It's a T1.5 Cine Prime. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of glass, takes lovely pictures for, and it's uh, incredibly good value. They're only about £300. Um, but I'm having some issues with this one and in fact with the previous one, um, which the issue being that the focus is very noisy. Um, so let me demonstrate that. I'm using, everything's being recorded just off the camera mic up here on my C300. Uh, it's set to manual level, so um, it's set up for my voice at the moment. So hopefully you're going to be able to hear this. If not, then I'm making a fairly pointless video. Now you may think that's not much of a problem, but it is a cine. Um, it is a cine prime. It's designed to be worked to, for filming with, um, and obviously sound is a very key element of filming. And having something crunching going on while you rack focus is not ideal because the sound recordist will probably have words with you. Um, so anyway, this is the second lens. My first lens developed this fault after two months, and I sent it back to um, the supplier. And good lord, is there a ghost at the door? No. I sent it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, so, this is the second lens I've had from Sam Yang. The first one. Um, went back after two months. Um, it went back to my supplier who sent it back to Sam Yang, who I think lost it because after eight weeks we heard nothing and eventually the supplier told um, was told by Sam Yang to give me another one, which they did, which was very kind of them. But unfortunately, th so that's this one. This one has now developed exactly the same problem, or rather it had developed the same problem. So I sent it back to the supplier again and the supplier sent it back to Sam Yang and after two and a half weeks it came back saying no fault found but that they had stripped it down and had a look and um, hadn't found any problems so they'd sent it back. Now the supplier told me that actually they've had quite a few issues with this lens and quite a few people have complained about it um, but the Sam Yang basically say it is within spec um, but you know it's a cine lens. You can't have a noisy lens like that. Um, in fact, since they sent it back, uh, it's developed another problem, which um, I will try and demonstrate. I don't know whether you can see it. So since it was stripped down, um, it's now got... It has a problem where the aperture um, blades occasionally stick. So they'll... Um, they, they'll... Uh, they can probably see... Take, there's a sort of delay... It's the usual problem, I can't actually make it happen. Just now I had it going really well. <laughs> but actually you can see it every so often it flicks open really sharply or closes. Oh, there you go, there's one, look. Now, you might think this is not really a big problem either, but this lens is only a year old, and there you can see that. That's not very good for a one-year-old lens. Uh, in fact, I've got a 58mm f1.2 Minolta that I inherited from my father-in-law's collection. It's this one here. It's a beautiful lens. Um, and uh, I had it converted to EF mount. Stupidly, I forgot to ask them to de-click the iris. So it still clicks. The iris still clicks. But in every way, 
lovely smooth lens. In fact, I'm going to stick it on that camera um, and try and get this one to misbehave on the aperture again. So just give me a moment. Okay, so here we are on the Minolta. Um, let's see what we can do. Oh, start there all straight away. Nice and smooth there. See that? So um, I'm going to return it to Sam Young again and hopefully I'll get a better result this time. But if you have a similar problem, perhaps you could just make a comment below because I have read about this on the internet. There are quite a few people, but obviously for, for a lot of stills guys, it's not a big problem because noise, particularly this bit, That may not be much of a problem if you're a stills photographer. It's a huge problem if you're a filmmaker. Say bye-bye. <laughs>